All right, we're gonna do a tutorial here on how to podcast using the Sound FM board while you're doing a radio program. You can hear in the background I've got um, airtime playing uh, from the airtime dial. If you're new to the board, make sure to check out one of the other videos that kind of explains each of it. But if you're at this one, it, it's pretty easily labeled with microphones and CD players and different things like that. Now, before we start podcasting, it's important to make sure that your radio out levels are good, which is important anytime you're on radio. So, by radio out levels, I mean we should be watching these dials and they should be just getting up to the red there. A little bit entry into the red is fine, but we want to make sure that our, our dials are emitting a good sound. Sometimes we may think that we're having podcasting problems when really we're not playing the audio from the station loud enough. So that's one thing that we need to watch as we're creating our podcast. Okay, the next thing we need to have is our laptop. Okay. We need our laptop with Audacity. So in another video, we watched how to install Audacity onto our computer. If you don't already have Audacity, make sure to install Audacity onto your computer. Now, before you open Audacity or launch Audacity, you want to connect your computer to the audio out, okay? If you try a Y cable, so Y cable's got the, I'm just gonna turn down what's playing right now. Y cable's got the white and red S video type out, as well as the uh, headphone jack on the other side. So if you connect that to your audio in, I've just plugged the one end in, this end is what gonna wanna go onto the right side here. So it doesn't really matter if you hook up the red to the red and the white to the white. Um, plug both of them in there, then we're gonna start running, we're gonna launch our Audacity. It really only matters that you plug this in before you launch Audacity, so it knows to choose from here. Because, suppose you get distortion on your podcast with this type of setup. A simple solution, on mine it, it adds distortion and I couldn't uh, get rid of the distortion, is to get one of these little uh, Behringer U controller. This is a USB external uh, sound card for your computer. This will take the place of your sound card. So, it has got a USB end for your computer. You just plug that into any USB port on your computer. And you plug, I don't have a white and red anymore, but uh, it's black and red, but it does the same thing. You plug the black and red into, I'll plug red into red and black into white. Um, so now I'm set up. Now I'm gonna launch Audacity and we'll see what to do in Audacity. But first, so a couple things before we even start the, the podcasting, we gotta get set up is we gotta have our computer in the station. We need to, we can test it out with the Y cable. For mine, it didn't work. Uh, I liked this better. It sounded a lot clearer. And um, we need to have our levels good over here on the, uh, on the board. Okay, now let's jump into Audacity and see what this looks like uh, for, for doing that. What we want to do is open our Audacity. So we've got everything set up. Right now I'm going through the Behringer uh, external uh, sound card. So I've got that all hooked up. It's connected via USB. I open up Audacity. Now, if I were to just hit record in, yeah, so it would have just recorded this through the microphone that is on uh, my laptop. But what I want to do is I want to get it from the USB. 
so I want it to come through that external sound card. So what I'm going to do is if I click here to start monitoring, boop, boop, I can see where the levels are getting on here and uh, we don't want it up into the red. So this is green. This looks good. Uh, what a, uh, the background music is uh, done now and so it's just me talking. But when I stop talking, it goes right down. When I start talking again, it starts bouncing uh, up like that. You want to make sure that we're not all the way up and, and right up here on zero. Once we've got a good level, uh, we can hit record. So let's start, uh, let's hit record and start podcasting here. So here is the podcast that I've got going on. Uh, those are each time I speak. I'm going to play a song here. Yeah, so that is the music as well as me talking, uh, and it's all podcasting this. Now let's suppose we're done podcasting. Let's hit stop on this. Okay, we've got all this here that we, we've got playing. It may not allow us to play this. Let me see if I can switch it to the speakers. I don't know if you can hear that faintly. It's playing it through my um, laptop speakers. But let's suppose, uh, and just quickly, let's suppose I don't like all the talking that I did at the beginning. You can easily highlight that and delete it. If we wanted to, if we thought maybe the talking isn't loud enough at the beginning, I need it a little bit louder, that mic was kind of quiet. I can go amplify and it will amplify it so that it is much louder. There's a whole bunch of little There's a whole bunch of little tricks that you can do to kind of get your uh, your work sounding good on here. Um, but if we want to cut it, we can just highlight it and hit delete. Now, if, I, if I'm at the radio station and I want to edit it at home because my time's up and I got to get out of the studio, I can just save this project as something. So... Um, maybe I would save it in my library. I have a bunch of Audacity files. So I could save this as a test. Let's say. Save. So then I can go home, open this up later, open up test, and uh, edit it or d delete, like how I deleted that beginning bit. Maybe I don't like this. I can delete this later. Delete that. Then once I'm satisfied with it, I want to say export audio. And now I want it to be an MP3. So this is the old test from the other video. This is a capital T-E-S-T. -E Let's save that MP3. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter about that. Let's call it test 2. Save that. Uh, we can fill in all our stuff. Mono a mono. Track title. Podcasting. Album title. How to video. Okay. And it will go and it will render it. Now if you do a whole show. 
like an hour long or a two hour long show, then it will uh, take a little bit longer to render at the end there. Uh, so that's it. That's how you make a podcast. Now you just have to get that file and in another video, yeah, let's save those changes. In another video, I'll show you how you can go about uploading that uh, now and make an actual uh, podcast of it somewhere on the internet. And I'll show you how Sound FM can help you handle that as well.